we we have a we have a segment that we like to call uh, the headline segment, and we need to do that. We've got a little bit of time, and we're also gonna we're gonna close off the the Gilly Crane Hotline, uh, uh, Jonathan. We're gonna we're gonna kill the Gilly Crane Hotline. Uh, but uh, we call the headline segment where we go back and look at some of the uh, uh, the important performances this week and uh, some of the things that struck us, what we think the headlines are going to look like uh, in tomorrow morning's paper. Are you ready for that? Yes, sir. Okay. All right, I'll start. And then if you've got something that, that, that tickles your fancy, let's talk about it. Uh, York Institute, 492 yards of total offense tonight. They held Cumberland County to 52 that's stout as a big red onion that's a lot of that's a whole lot of something that's that is a very very dominant dominant uh thing uh also blake watkins of smyrna with three touchdowns uh here's one that i thought that you might like uh dyersburg 63 mlk prep six out in west tennessee dyersburg has a good program year in year out you you used to coach up there right uh, we won a, won a few ball games over there. <laughs> a couple of statement wins, I thought. Maryville thirty-one to ten over Catholic, Oakland over uh, Independence tonight. Those two were statement wins, I thought. Yeah, they were both top ten teams, right? Right. And uh, for them to pull out a win like that, that's that's pretty impressive. Another headline that I think is going to make the papers, Tracy Hayworth gets a win in his first game out as a Grundy County head coach. Uh, They get a win over East Hickman. They get out to a big lead. East Hickman ties them, and they come back and get the late score. Shows shows a lot of moxie. Exactly. That's what I was going to say for them to, you know, when they come back and and tie the game up and they still pull out a win, that that says a lot about their, their coach and their program already. Uh, ben Blackburn uh, told, called in, and he wanted to talk about the uh, uh, Upperman getting a win over Cookville. I think that's the first time ever, maybe since Truman was president. Well, see, I, like I said, I'm still learning about all these rivalries and um, the teams that were good and, and not so good. So uh, apparently that, that was a big win for them. Uh, and uh, so those are, we think, what our, our headlines will be in tomorrow morning's paper.